hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so here we are with another question on error analysis of non-unity feedback systems so here we are given a system the block diagram representation format and uh, we have to find out the steady state error for this uh, when it is subjected to a unit step input so here first this is HS it is a non-unity feedback system okay first we have to determine the DC gain of feedback path gauge here HS is a type 0 system no poles at origin so it will be simply limit S tends to 0 HS so it will be limit S tends to 0 1 by S plus 4 which is equal to 1 by 0 plus 4 which is equal to 1 by 4 KH is equal to 1 by 4 that we have determined ok next the error equation for non-unity feedback systems is given by this kh is is equal to rs minus kh cs <coughs> okay so that implies if we simplify it es is equal to rs by kh minus cs okay that implies es is equal to rs common 1 by kh minus cs by rs we have taken rs common so here we know cs by rs is the closed loop transfer function so es is equal to rs into 1 by kh minus gs by 1 plus gs hs so now we have to simply substitute the values respective values here so here if we uh, see gs is equal to s square s plus 1 by s square plus 5s so we can write it as s into s plus 5 ok this is gs hs is equal to 1 by s plus 4 kh is equal to 1 by 4 the unit step input which is applied the Laplace transform of that is 1 by s so these values we have to substitute here in this equation so es will be equal to rs which is 1 by s into 1 by kh which is 1 by 4 minus gs which is equal to s plus 1 by s into s plus 5 by 1 plus GSHS S plus 1 by S into S plus 5 multiplied with HS 1 by S plus 4 so again all the time please be very careful in this step because here where maximum ma mistakes happen while rearranging the numerator and the denominator you know here mistakes can happen so this is equal to 1 by 1 by 4 which is 4 minus <coughs> s plus 1 by s into s plus 5 by here it is s into s plus 5 into s plus 4 plus s plus 1 by s into s plus 5 
into s plus 4. So, here s s gets cancelled here s plus 5 s plus 5 gets cancelled. So, this is the expression. So, it is equal to 1 by s into 4 minus s plus 1 and this s plus 4 goes into the numerator to the top. So, s plus 1 by s plus 4 by s into s plus 5 into s plus 4 plus s plus 1. Let us uh, just keep it this way. Okay? This is s plus 1. This is only s plus 1. Okay? Let us just keep it this way, in this way. This is equal to Es. So, again please be very careful when you simplify it, when you solve this. So, now we know that steady state error is given by final value theorem. Okay? So, steady state error is equal to limit t tends to phi e t which is equal to limit s tends to 0 s e s. So, here it will be limit s tends to 0 s multiplied with e s. This is the expression of e s. 1 by s into 4 minus s plus 1 into s plus 4 by s into s plus 5 s plus 4 plus s plus 1. So, here when we substitute 0 s s gets cancelled. So, here when we substitute 0, we will get the result equal to 4 minus 0 plus 1 into 0 plus 4 by here 0 into 0 plus 5 into 0 plus 4 plus 0 plus 1. So, here it is equal to 4 minus 1 into 4 by 0 plus 1. Okay? So, here it is equal to 4 minus 4 by 1 which is equal to 4 minus 4 which is equal to 0. This the steady state error is equal to 0. <clears throat> so, again please be very careful when you substitute the zeros and you calculate the results because when you are in a hurry it is very 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 easy to make mistakes okay these substitutions can also sometimes you will be you know uh, making silly mistakes here and that will give you the wrong result so always be very careful so here the steady state error is equal to 0 we calculate it so again it is a you know a little bit lengthy and tricky process but go step by step whenever you see a non unity feedback system always pay attention to the feedback path transfer function hs it is a non unity feedback system then determine what type of hs is it is type of system depending on that you will determine the dc gain of the feedback path then after finding out that write this equation okay which is the standard format of error signal for a feedback type uh, no, non unity feedback type transfer function then you will get it in this format then you have to simply substitute the values okay rs kh gs hs then please be very careful when you solve this expression when you simplify this expression then you will substitute s with 0 using the final value theorem to determine the steady state error mm -hmm. so this zero substitution in place of s that has to be taken, uh, done carefully and uh, following all the rules of algebra and then you will get the final result. Okay? So, this is another question related to steady state error analysis for non-unity feedback systems. So, I hope you like this video and please be careful about these kind of questions and uh, uh, because they can be little bit tricky they are lengthy so it is very easy to lose patience and make mistakes so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much